get it, then we could we could proceed. We can proceed with the smoke. <laughs> with the smoke, okay. <laughs> I'm not totally even sure what we're going to have this conversation about. I know there's been a number of things that, that you have disagreed with me on. And um, I think for the most, basically it was me and my lack of reliance on, if, if I'm correct, you might have to correct me, my lack of reliance on the Holy Spirit, not experiencing the Holy Spirit, th things of that nature uh, with, I think with different gifts and so forth. I, am, am I, am I correct? Well, I do believe, and I know others will attest to this, and those of you that are in the uh, comment section, please feel free to comment, that there is a, the Holy Spirit does give revelation, he does give insight. And unfortunately, unfortunately, there's been an imbalance throughout church history or throughout the, the various movements, faith movement, charismatic. Now we have the prophetic movement. Now, no, we had prophetic, now they have it mixed with the apostolic, et cetera, okay? And, the terms like sensationist all right some believe the gifts have ceased some believe tongues have ceased some believe this that and the other that's one thing you and you had a an issue with it if i'm correct you had made mention that you know some of these things are no longer uh pertaining to the body or they're not expressed but uh -uh. some of them may be okay no, no all right no, I've, I've said i've said uh i'm neither a cessationist nor a continuationist i am a skeptic with the bible and so if a person says they have this gift of uh, prophecy or this gift of healing or this gift of tongues, okay, fine. Um, Paul tells us that we ought to um, use the scriptures. First of all, it tells us that we ought to, they ought to use them. If they've got it, then we should see, we'll see it. And then we will take our scriptures, the Bible, and we will compare what they're saying they're doing. So anyone with these vague prophecies, that's, we don't see that in scriptures. Um, uh, and so everything is going to be judged in light of the scriptures. Since people want to say that they have the Holy Spirit and they're walking in the gifts of the Spirit, well, the first gift that we've got of the, the second gift, I'm sorry, the first gift was our salvation. The second gift that we have of the Spirit is the scriptures. And so whatever gift that you got 2,000 years after the fact is got to line up and coincide with the scriptures. And so, well, and, and, and you're correct. And if we look at 1 Corinthians chapter 12, that lines up with the word of God. That is accurate. That is for every believer in contrast to Ephesians chapter four. But if you look at 1 Corinthians chapter 12, you go further down, it says, I've set some in the church, first apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers, gifts, helps governments, et cetera, et cetera. So there is a unique architecture for the body that the Lord Jesus has established. Now I understand where some people are, okay? Because these things, listen, number one, there's a definite abuse. Let's look at that. There's an abuse of the gifts of the spirit. There's an abuse of offices, functions. There's outright abuse, but that does not negate that the spirit of the Lord is not manifesting in these areas. I mean, you, we, it's, some things are just undeniable. Now, like what? If, well, undeniable. The speaking of the, the gifts of the spirit, I'm just going to say that, 1 Corinthians 12, they're undeniable. So we can kind of get to what, 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 what specifically is the issue that you have with me? Well, for instance, let's go with this. I noticed you were talking about Salvador. Salvador, and I even, I even said it. You can go back and see it. See, you, you don't really want this smoke, but I'm going to give it to you, brother, like you really want it. Okay. He talks, he talks about deliverance. Mm -hmm. Now, he, here's, here's the thing. There are people who don't believe that you can be a believer, a Christian, and have a demonic spirit or an entity inside of your human body. Okay, and I understand that, and that's logical to assume. And you I believe that? that there is the presence of demonic forces. Not saying that they're they're possessed. And you and I both, we need to understand that it is a mystery how demons can dwell in human tissue. Okay, whether you're born again or not, how they sit in the skull cavity, chest cavity, abdominal regions, spinal regions, manipulating the neurological places of the brain. And that is a fact. I've stated before that there is obviously demonic influence. I, I, but I've stated, though, to Isaiah South, South of or anyone else who wants to cast demons out of Christians, we don't have one, not two, five or ten, but just one example 
of a believer having a demon and having it cast out. We don't have that. And we do have, though, the remedy for anyone having any issues dealing with any demonic forces. That right. is, right. we resist. Okay, That is the word. That. You can't deny that. To pray. Because the Spirit of God, John tells us that if, 1 John 5, 18, that uh, those of us that are born of God, the devil cannot touch. Now, will he try to do things to us, trip us up and so forth? Sure. But we cannot be possessed or up oppressed by them. Our issue is submitting to him, drawing near to him and resisting the devil. And the Bible says he will flee. Not to have someone come and cast a demon out of us. And so I would say to Isaiah or you or anyone else, give the example somewhere in the scriptures. We okay. cannot go forward and saying the spirit okay. is without an example in the scriptures. Let me say this. Here's a good example. Hopefully, Jesus said this. When an unclean spirit is going out of a man, let's mm -hmm. deal with that. And um, if you can bring that scripture up, that'd be great for the listeners. Someone looks at that. It is definitely mysterious. It is definitely something in there that you have to really meditate in the word of God. And I appreciate your Greek, pre your Greek peace, man. That's that's good. But I'm still going to give you the smoke, brother. I'm going to give you some smoke. OK. I'm and I understand that. Let's look at this from a real real perspective. First of all, what is an unclean spirit doing in human tissue from the beginning? OK, that's it. Number one. Number two, we are born again in our spirit. Now, we can look at the dichotomy or the trichotomy of a man. Mm -hmm. This is a mystery to you. It's to others that are in deliverance arenas. No one can articulate how this actually happens. And I want you to just be open with me. So not to take over this, but so Jesus says, when an unclean spirit is going out of a man, he goes into dry stony places to find rest. The second thing here is the nature of that spirit. Here's what I do know. And when you read that in the Hebrew, it says that the demonic or that demon goes to find a wet place or moisture. That tells me about their nature. Now, third thing, when an unclean spirit is gone out of a man, then it says he goes to find rest. He finds it. And then he goes back into his house. He finds it empty, swept and garnished. All right. And then he takes with himself seven more. Right. And then the last state of that man is worse with him than the first. Now, here's the point. It doesn't say if this man is born again, but we understand logically, logically, how can this be? Can the spirit dwell, inhabit, um, rest, nest, however you want to phrase it inside the skull of a person, impacting their neurological functions, their behavior, driving them, seducing them, manipulating them, oppressing, even as a believer, okay? It doesn't seem like that's logical because, Lord, we're your temple. How can how can that be? I'm going to tell you right now. I believe it is. I've witnessed it. I've talked to believers. I've prayed over believers and ministered to them. And, man, I'm hey, what I saw with my eyes, I understand, but in Scripture, you will not find it explicitly stating, oh, you can be a follower or a son of God and you're still going to have demonic power. Okay, but hold on. Here's the mystery. In conclusion, in conclusion, okay. here is the mystery that you don't understand, I don't understand, others don't understand because we want it to be validated by the word of God. When some things are simply as it is, man, and it requires it requires the spirit of the Lord to show us how these things are actually so. But well, hold on, hold go on. ahead, go, go ahead, brother. Okay, yeah, on. got you smiling. You can't handle this smoke. All right, <laughs> come on, please. Come on, come on over here. Come on in, in let's show walk. Come on over. Then then uh, you gonna limp back. You walk over, but you're limping back. Now don't don't let the gray hair fool you. I ain't no easy way. We need to fix this. We need to fix this. Here's what we do have in the Bible. OK, and, and I, I've got to move yeah. you along because I get, the, you know, we, I, along, we don't bro. have the time, to, you know, you know, set all your points, all your foundation. Song, bro. Now, in the Bible, every time that we saw a person who did have a demon, two things that we know for a fact. The person was not a believer. Every time. One hundred percent. Secondly. Every time the person had a demon and then had the demon cast out, everybody knew. There was no need. There, there was never someone saying, hey, are we sure the person had a demon? How do we know? 
In other words, we don't we don't find miracles. We don't have we don't find moves of God that are not validated by both believers and non-believers. Today we do, which tells me one thing. It's not accurate because God is not moving in a silent place for someone to not know. When God moves, he wants us to know he moves, which is why you don't see a lot of these signs throughout the Bible. There's only a few periods in the Bible where we see certain men coming with these signs, right? Abraham didn't. Jeremiah didn't. Now, Moses did. Elijah, Elijah and Elijah did. Uh, We see, obviously, Jesus, the apostles, and that's it. And so what we're doing today is we're trying to act like that we got the same power. The problem is the word of God is not enough. This is a smoke that I don't know if you want, but others don't want. Oh, Isaiah, oh, they don't oh, want this. Want the, the word of God, if the word of God is not enough, then you don't have them to begin with. If the word of, of God all, is right. not what delivers people, because remember, I wish I, let, me, let me put this on the screen. I want you to see this. In this word, Philippians 119, we don't have the word uh, uh, in, the, in the English or the Greek very much in the New Testament. But here it is. Philippians 119. He says, uh, yea, and I will rejoice for I know that through your prayers and the help of the spirit of Jesus Christ, this will turn out for my deliverance. Do you know what this word for deliverance is? The word for deliverance right. over here in the Greek is the Greek word for soterion. If we were to look it up in the Hebrew, the Hebrew word for it, when it talks about deliverance in Psalm 72, four, he may defend the cause of the poor of the people, give deliverance. This word for deliverance is the Hebrew word for Yeshua. I agree with you. So, the two I words that are used in the Hebrew and the Greek for deliverance refer to Jesus. Jesus is the deliverer and the deliverance. He's the yes, he deliverer. is. It's not Isaiah or anyone else laying hands I on agree. someone to do, to, to, in agree. other words, to do or to be what the Holy Spirit is. Do you know how blasphemous that is to say that somebody, I agree. Like, now, people are going to say, well, I've seen it. Well, I've seen it too. Remember, I started off in a church that did, that did deliverance ministry. And my question was always, how come she or he looks exactly the same uh, as before and afterwards? We don't have any verification. In the Bible, we don't see that. And so it tells me it's fraudulent. Oftentimes, the hallmark of some of these ministries is when people come forward, you know what they're asking them? To get delivered. But they're not asking them, do you know Jesus? Have you have you placed faith in Christ? Because when where the son is, well, whom he says free, they are free indeed. He's free That's indeed. why. I, listen. I agree with you one. Listen, I agree with the scriptural exegetical interpretation of what you just brought forth. No, no, I agree. I you agree. Say, I but. don't disagree. I agree. Hold on. I agree with that, bro. I'm I'm right there with you. What the word deliverance means, how we associate it. But let's look at this. Let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. Mary Magdalene. The Bible says now. Was she a believer or was she not a believer? I'm just going to ask you a question, Mary uh, Magdalene. Uh, she became a believer. At first, okay. she wasn't. Now, out of did the seven devils come out of her before she believed or after? Before, which is why she started following him. Which okay, is why she now, devoted herself to him. So, what were they doing there from the beginning? They were we chilling. No I don't idea. know what they were doing. I have no idea. Okay. We don't know. But All here's we my do point. know is the Bible says they were there and they were gone. Right. You but know here's what my you, point. By the here's way, by point. the way, do you know where we never it saw is, a demon hanging out? It which is, is probably why she stayed with Jesus. They weren't around amazing. Jesus. They right. They didn't go right. searching for him. I agree with you. I, listen, I'm not disagreeing here, but I'm trying to show you that a lot of this is a mystery. No, it's and not. I wish, no, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. Scripturally, we can read and get the simplicity of it. OK, based on what you did with the Greek, with the exegetical interpretation and the definition, we can get that. However, you can be delivered from anything. Right. For instance, Acts 1038. I understand if you want to do the exegesis on it, no problem. If we look at Acts 10, 38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, who went about doing good, healing all those that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Whether they believe or had mentally consented that he is Messiah, etc. Mm-hmm. even Peter, Jesus said to Peter, he said, uh, Satan, get behind me. Now, I understand. Uh, listen, bro, I understand how you feel, and it is a frustration, but I'm here to tell you. There are abuses with this particular form of ministry. There are definite abuses, man. There are definite abuses. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Go ahead. How do you know? How do you know someone has a demon? And if they have a demon, how how is the demon set free? How how is the person Here's, set free of the demon? I, I'm, I'm going to explain that. But to now you. I, I need I need you to say it quickly though, because it's get the, okay. The, the, okay. The, it's, it's getting a little According, late. Um, the Word of God teaches us that. Um, I can. Oh man, my thought. The Word of God teaches us this. 
that some of these things, brother, are hard to understand. Some of this is, and I'm going to be honest, we don't know it all. I don't know it all. Bro, I, I don't. But, whoa, but what I do know, 1 Corinthians 12, 1 Corinthians 12, what do we know? 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 12, uh -huh. the gifts of the spirit. One gift is called discerning of spirits, right? Discerning of spirits, whether they are inward or outward, whether they're in a believer or in an unbeliever. That is an actual gift of the Holy oh, Spirit. Wait, yeah. so are, you, are you adding yeah. something to it? No, bro. No. Right, it's first right, Corinthians right. chapter 12. All right. It let's talks it about Paul said in first in verse one. He says, I will not have you ignorant concerning pneumaticos or pneuma. Okay. But let me read that. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. And there, no, no, let's go back. Now concerning spiritual gifts, that word gift wasn't there in, in the original. It means pneumat pneumaticos or things of the spirit. Brothers, I do not want you to be uninformed or ignorant. You know that you were pagans, okay? You were led astray to mute idols or dumb idols, as it says in the King James versions. However, you were led. Therefore, I want you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God ever says Jesus is a curse, and no man, no one can say that Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Now there are the varieties or diversities of gifts, but the same spirit, and there are differences of services or administrations, but the same law and their diversities of activities or operations, okay? But it is the same God who empowers, okay? Who distributes, okay? Them all in everyone. To each is given the manifestation or to every man in the King James Version is given to every man to profit with all. This manifestations, these shining forbs are given. This is intended for every believer listening. All of y'all could have the gifts of the Lord in you. For to one is given by, through the spirit, the, the utterance of wisdom or the word of wisdom, right? To another, the utterance or the word of knowledge, according to the same spirit. To another, faith by the same spirit. To another, gifts of healing by this one spirit. To another, working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, the ability to distinguish between or to discern these spirits, okay? Now, here, here, That's not, now my on. point is, this no. is how the Lord this, uses this, this, every this, believer you're able to distinguish this is why we have to, I'm trying we, we to gotta, tell you we, got, we gotta correct you i'm trying to tell you no you know no, wait, 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 you. you said able to distinguish between different gifts i mean different spirits uh in the in the in the believer whether it's a believer or not in in or out okay or you out. added that part that's out. not what it says that's in not what out. it says come on bro it doesn't have to say that discernment oh, you're y trying to oh, limit discernment my, my, my glass discerning of spirit my my eyeglass yeah, yeah. almost popped off because you yeah, just that's, said that smoke, that smoke you know, that no, that's fiction. That's that, no, that, no, no, listen, no, 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 no. You, you, you just said, spirits. did you hear what you said? You just said, oh, bro, it I, doesn't I, I repeat have to what say I just that. said. I you, repeat what I just said. I'm gonna I repeat stated it to you. You said I it doesn't it. have to say that. I stated to you that the gift of discerning of spirits enables one to distinguish spirits, whether inward or outward, whether in a believer. Or an unbeliever. Where do you get that from? Because it doesn't that, say that in right, the text. Right there, right there. The, what do you think discerning of spirits is, bro? By the Holy Ghost. Let's pull it up. Come on, bro. See, you can't handle that smoke. You choking on it. You're not saying anything. You make listen. I you made cannot, it very clear. You cannot make it distinct. Okay, when you distinguish spirits or discern these entities, these invisible things, bro, it's not just within a man, but it's also without a man. But, when no, Paul was, okay, for instance, when Paul was moving about what he was doing, he was vexed. There was a woman who had a spirit of divination. How do you think he recognized that? Because she was just accurate? Because she was saying, I'm not, that's, not, that's, not, that's not the point I'm talking I'm just about. Saying. That's not the well, point I'm talking about. That is not the point I'm talking about. You want you, verbatim, literal. No, I'm let, telling you, the gift let, of discerning of spirits right, listen for a second, enables for a second. you. That's what I'm saying. Go Come on, bro. You say it. Choking on whether it be in a, you, you added whether it be in a believer or not a believer. Correct. It does not say that. It doesn't have to say that. It does have it to say have that. If, why? Listen, Tell if you're going to make a statement, if you are going to make something out to be something, I need to know all of us okay. believers who trust and love the scriptures need okay. to see that. This let's is, go this back. Is, let's go back into the, the previous this the issue, Art. The, the issue is, is that if someone's going to tell us something, this is why you were, I, this is what I believe. I'm I might be wrong. Right now, bro. This is why I think that you were hesitant to come on. It took you forever. This is why Isaiah won't come on. This is why Pagani's blocking me. That's why these folks, they will not deal with the text. If you're going to add Let's something the to the text you go. and you're going to say go. it means something and I say I disagree, you got to show me the scriptures. You can't okay, tell me to it it, it, just because you it. say so. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. There are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations, 
but it is the same God which worketh all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man. Now, diversities of operations, you have activities, all right? You have to understand what that means. The Holy Ghost, the Ruach HaKadosh in us, gives us power, gives us abilities, gives us charismata, like, you know, but I'm not going to bash that word and throw it away. However, okay, yeah, yeah, there you go. But yeah, go, go to activities. You have, and there are varieties of activities. You will learn the activity or the operation of the Holy Spirit, man. You learn that, bro. Discerning of spirits. Listen, if I were to talk to you about my own account, my own experiences, that that's matter. not sufficient. No, listen. it doesn't matter. Right. That's not sufficient. You, but you, listen, this, here, hold on, hold on. These so, scriptures will here, support here, that there is an, thing, act, there's an operation. And this is the problem. This, the, this, is the problem. this is the problem that plagues your movement. This because I, 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 no, I'm not in the movement. I'm no, well, hold on. Wait a second. Wait a second. I'm going to tell you what I did. I'm going to tell you what I did. I, my movement. I, I, I thought about pulling it up, but, um, you know, you, you click on someone's name and it'll, and it'll go, they may have some, some videos on their channel, right? And so I saw the one where you were at the church giving all this prophetic words and utterance and so forth to the people, oh, how you were oh, declaring, you, you yourself, aren't you, you were declaring what's going to happen to these people. You were giving these prophecies, and I'm pretty sure if we go back and look at this video, Art, that these prophecies hadn't come true. The stuff that you were saying, that one, they were vague, not verifiable. So Bring it up. I, but there's a restoration coming to this house. There is a wind coming from the north, the south, the east, and the west. But first, he's going to visit your house. The Lord wants to deliver you and break the yoke off of your minds. Several million dollars are going to come into this house. The money that is necessary. Now, him and I haven't talked. We have not communicated except on the other day. But millions of dollars are going to come through this house. Where there is no employment, there should be an increase of employment. And some of you are in a recession personally and privately. Some of you are struggling with your career. Some of you are having problems on your job. Some of someone struggling in their mortgage. You're struggling. But then there are some of you whom God has opened up doors and he's going to do, do greater things. The young people that are listening to music, 6 9 that are listening to Little Wayne, that is going to become a fad because in the rap, in hip-hop culture, there's going to be some situations that are going to arise. Even as I'm speaking, the Lord is saying, altar. The altar is your place. You must get to the altar. You must get to the altar. You must get to the altar. He's missing you at the altar. And even from the back, the spirit of the Lord is beginning to move. On this side, on that side, the spirit of the Lord, just lift your hands up. The spirit of God is about to move. There's a visitation coming. The young people are gonna be filled with the Holy Spirit. It is time for you to reach out. It is time for you to come to the waters. The Lord is healing some diseases and some sicknesses. Some of you are coming here sick. Someone's coming here with kidney issues, intestinal problems, migraine headaches. The Lord is here. Come on and just worship him. This is an hour where the Lord is giving you the keys to the kingdom that whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Lord wants you to walk in your authority, walk in your power, walk in your calling because you have 1 Corinthians chapter 12 inside of you. Every gifting is inside of you. There are prophets here, there are apostles, there are pastors, and there are teachers. Arise. We have to set the distinction, Corey. And I know you're sincere, brother. I can huh? see the sincerity. I hear it in your heart. But there is a, there's a more perfect way. Ministry, bro, is revelation, and it's revealed. Mm -hmm. Ministry, we can go to school, and I appreciate school and seminary. I appreciate the ability to interpret scripture, to get the Hebraic and the Greek. I understand those places, but let me see how this comes across, though. Art, right, let me tell you how this comes across. This comes across as as you're saying a whole lot of stuff, but you, what you're saying, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but it's not. Well, you are stuff. disrespectful. You are. You're saying a whole lot of stuff, man. You know, man. Come on, bro. They said about Jesus. Jesus, you, 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 you sat with the wine member and no, and that's that. not no. That come that's on, not man. what they claimed about Jesus. What I'm saying is when you you bro. you've made statements a couple of times that saying a lot of stuff. it doesn't matter what it's saying what the scriptures say it does matter and so it you're does saying, matter but i said to you let me repeat it again for the okay. third time i said that the gift of discerning of spirits will give the ability for the believer by the holy ghost to see to know to distinguish what spirit is within them but you won't give a scripture what? for that but because the, the gift speaks for itself. You won't that's see, what discerning of spirit does. You can't understand okay. it because that's not where you function at. You're making you're you're at you're saying I'm not that, saying seeing ghosts, bro. Okay. I'm not saying ooh, Art, I see demons. Art, Shannon, like if you're that. gonna say Go ahead, if Jeff. you're gonna say that he's talking about these these spirits, these distinction between what kind of spirits are in Christians and non Christians and so forth, whatever. Exactly. You gotta, exactly. You gotta, well, I know you say that you say that's what it means. 
Yeah, what do you think? But wait a second. Me? No, hold on. Wait a second. No one else gets that. And so there's got to be some sort of way where we should see know? the same thing. Run and a it, consensus. Wait a second. And it cannot be that that you say that. Well, you got you got to kind of tap into the spirit, delve into the spirit, or, or just I didn't say that. Tell you. I didn't say that. See now. I, I no, 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 no. My, my, my question, my, my point is, if you're going audience. to say, listen, what I'm saying though, if you're going to Go say that it says something or it means something, you got to show us why. Why would you take you? It says answer? discerning. Okay, here's what discerning is. Discerning is distinguishing, setting apart. Showing the difference. Jesus, the scripture says in First John, I believe, chapter 2, chapter 3, hereby know ye the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Okay? It gives a distinction. Do you now, have an example of a Christian something. never have, having a demon? Sure I do. I have I have, I have have plethoras of examples. No, 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 no. no. In the scriptures. The scriptures. In the scriptures, people. Brother, Jesus cast demons out of people. Do in you have an example of a believer having a demon? No, you do not. Not in the scriptures. A believer. Here, here's what I will say. You want that, and I understand, and you're right. Yeah, I want you that. Should, I, I, you I'm want not, to validate. I'm not validate, your word. You validate by word scripture. I understand that. You want to validate it by literal, the scriptural text, and I understand that. Yeah. This I, isn't I, diminishing. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Hold, cool. Come on, cool. hold on. I'm listening. Because I know you're trying to. I know you're trying to back me to a corner. Um, no. You want you want you want a specific specificity specify. I got to see it to believe it, and I understand what you're saying. This doesn't take away from the word of God that this is not so, because logically, logically, we can assume that. But listen, Corey, deliverance is not the end all be all. And I, I'll tell that to Salvador P P uh, Pagani. I'll tell that to anyone. I'll tell that to Marcus Rogers, anyone. And, but the misuse of it, brother. That's no, 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 really no. Get you to understand. Even forgetting the misuse of it. My, my point is. You may not see. You can't. There are examples of. So here's, here's, here's what you can't do. You can't find a passage that says a believer has a, has a demon or has a demon cast out of them. You cannot find anywhere after all the people groups of the Bible have received the Holy Spirit. You can't find a passage that says believers don't smoke, should wait not a, smoke. But wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Come on, bro. Well, we're not, we're well, not bro, talking about smoking. We're, talk, we're talking about someone. You're, you're not listening. We're talking about someone building a, a ministry off of something that's not in the scriptures and then that's leading people in that telling them the reason why you got this is because of a demon. Isaiah Saldivar is either a liar or biblically biblically illiterate. All the rest of them are too. Anyone that's going to no. say that without the scriptures, we can't take your word. They did the same thing with Paul. When Paul came I, to the Bereans, I, they searched the scriptures. They didn't say, well, Paul, no, Paul, I tell you what, uh, Paul will say to them, you got you to gotta trust this is what the word means in the spirit. No, they went and searched the scriptures. You cannot find a believer Correct. who's ever had. But let me ask you this. Hold, 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 what scriptures did they search? What scriptures did they search? I'll give you the mic in a second. Serve? I'll give you the, the Old Testament, second. right? You cannot, Testament, you cannot, wait a second, Art. You cannot find anywhere in the scriptures a Christian, a believer, someone has placed faith in Christ having a demon. You cannot, you don't, you know what you don't have? You don't even have Paul telling his, his ministers, poor, poor uh, Timothy, poor Titus, no one is ever telling them to cast out demons. You don't see it ever happening after the foundation of the church, meaning that all of the people groups have the Holy Spirit, which okay, happened well, in Acts, you a question. In Acts, what is Acts 19. Why don't we see it happening then? Why don't we see with all the issues in Corinth, with all the issues in Philippi, with all the issues in all the other churches, with their issues, we don't see anyone having demons cast out. You know why? Because once the spirit of God is in them through faith, through salvation in Christ, there is no need to worry about a demon being but in I'm there. But see, listen, you are, listen, I'm not here to refute what you're saying. Then why are you here? I'm telling, well, I'm, you want me to refute and prove or just tell you, Corey, listen, these things are fact. Now you want, you want me to find chapter and verse, chapter yes. and verse, chapter and verse. Yes. The Say closest go. scripture, Look, chapter the closest verse. thing I can find, the verses, <laughs> closest thing I can find is in Matthew, what we read, when an unclean spirit has gone out of a man, out of a man. Out of a man. Now, whether that man is a born again man or an unsaved man, I'm not trying to convey this to be something vague, but you got to look at the text for what Jesus is saying. When an unclean spirit is gone, then he goes back in. Now, is he going back into a born again man or a sinner man? How could he, he possibly have been a born again man? I, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. I'm not trying to conclude and use the scripture to support any of this. But Corey, did that person have the Holy Spirit? Like, we, we, do you know? You don't know. I don't know. We the don't Holy know. Spirit hadn't been we given to man yet. So yes, we do know. Well, well, okay, was he saved? Was he born? Did he believe? Did he believe? The Holy we Spirit had not been given into man yet. The Holy he Spirit also comes said on this the day is of what's Pentecost. Going to happen. So prior to that, all bets could be off. But we Corey. don't see a regenerate believer 
having a demon. And so when you guys say you can, you're telling us to believe you. Forget, this is what you literally said. Forget the scriptures. I, I, no, Listen I'm not to what saying I'm that, saying. Corey. You're misunderstanding me. Now, you, now you're, you're creating this narrative that I'm not saying. All I'm telling you, Corey, is that a lot of this, brother, a lot of this is a mystery. And no, it's not. Accept, it's, yes, it is. Everything's not revealed to us, Corey. You can't sit there and tell me that we know all things and everything. We do not know all things. But the things, things we bro. do know, we can we can we can speak about. Corey, I guarantee you that some there are some believers that are believers listening that are struggling with some issues. And okay. it is number one, they may be struggling with some sin in their life mm -hmm. and some can't stop it. But nine times out of ten, the root of some things are demonic in well, some believers. Let me say this. I'm gonna let tell me you say that right this. now. Let me yeah, say you this. You want me to find scripture? Go ahead, bro. No, let me say this because I'm, I'm going to have to uh, uh, wrap up because we are at yeah, least yeah, just. That's right. That's right. Boss, you boss that smoke. just told me we get that smoke. Three hours. Mm. So let mm. me say this. Let me say this. Um, <laughs> listen, if 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 that's what smoke was, uh, it was good. smoke, Corey. Felt good. But let me say Wipe this. Your brow. Let me, brown, let me say bro. this. Let me say Wipe this. Um, <laughs> uh, you sweating on top of your head. Bro. Uh, yeah. When someone and I'm, I'm listen, I appreciate you coming on. I, 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 I yeah, do we can do on. this anytime. Bro. Uh, I'm, with I'm you. let you I'm go, but you. I want you to, as I let you go. I want you to listen what I what I what I'm about to say, guys. Let me, uh oh, I didn't I didn't zoom myself out. Let me zoom myself back in. Let me say this. He made a he made a statement. And the statement uh, was about people who are dealing with these different um, issues, these different things they struggle with. Maybe it might be something sexual, depression, whatever it is. What does the Bible say as though God had no foresight that God did not know that someone is going to struggle? What does the Bible say? And we'll go ahead and, 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 and leave on this. But the Bible gives us, the Bible didn't have us out here naked and defenseless. The Bible gives us actually a defense. Let me pull up what he's, what, what the Bible says. Let's go to James. He says, is anyone among you suffering? That means, uh, Brother Art, my friend, is anyone among, look what I just did. I just, I, I don't know why that put there. I, I told you this is new software. Some kind of way it, it put me there. That's fine. But if anyone among you is suffering, Maybe it's something that is um, sexual in nature or, or or just oppressive, whatever. If anyone among you is, is suffering, let him pray. Prayer might be a little bit underrated uh, for some of these folks in these in these so-called not real deliverance ministries. Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing. Is anyone among you sick? Don't cast a, de a demon. That's not what it's saying. Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him. Again, prayer anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord and the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sin, he will be forgiven. So what we're supposed to do is pray. We have, we have guys, we have uh, what we're told to do. I don't know why we don't want to go by it, but then also let's throw up a couple of other passages. First uh, John 5, 4, it says, for everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcome, that has overcome the world. Our Faith, our faith, our faith. Little children, you are from God and have overcome them for he who is in you, that's the Holy Spirit, is greater than he was in the world. And so the point is, if I've got the spirit of God in me, I don't have to worry about fighting a demon in me. A demon cannot live in me where the Holy Spirit is. And then again, we'll end with this passage that I brought up earlier, 1 John chapter 5, verse 18. And that will be what we where we leave off at. Then he prayed again. I'm sorry. I'm in the wrong one. First John. First John 5, 18. We know that everyone who has been born of God does not keep on sinning, but he who was born of God got, protects him and the evil one does not touch him. You know what that tells me? That I can, as a believer, be possessed. That's it. Now, I want to thank you, uh, Brother Art Shannon. I want to thank you so much for bringing the smoke. I want what I really want to thank you for is uh, somebody here, somebody else. I um, I will not stop saying it, Corey. You need the Holy Spirit. I've had the Holy Spirit problem long when you've been born, so you can say what you want to. Let me say it again for all of you folks that think Corey Minor didn't have the Holy Spirit. All the people that saw me witnessing to them, all the folks that came to Christ as a result of not by my power but just by the preaching of the gospel. You tell me the Holy Spirit was involved in that. You tell me me being delivered from prison or me being saved 
That's not the Holy Spirit. I don't care what you say. You can't back up what you're saying with scripture. It's a thought. It's an opinion. It's a feeling. It's an emotion, which matters nothing. Your opinion compared to the scriptures, I'm going to take the scriptures every day of the week. And so you can keep keep all that, all this talk about you don't have the spirit or understand or experience move the spirit. The spirit is what gave us the scriptures. And so for you to say something like that, it's clear, crystal clear. You have no clue what the spirit is. The spirit of God will lead you always back to his word. If it doesn't, you have a different spirit and maybe you have a demon and you, my friend, might need to be, uh, have that demon cast out of you. Amen. Amen.